back. You know what this industry is like. Yo, bro, you're doing such a great job, man. And then round the back, they're like, he's a prick. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you, you see it all the time. Yo, bro, man, like, yo, but really and truly, they're wishing yeah. for your death. Hello everyone and welcome to Hard Rock Hangouts. It's Matt, Andre, and hey, we're in the heart of London. It's Piccadilly Circus, Hard Rock Cafe, episode number one with our good friend, Joel Bayer. I mean, this is exciting for us because it's an exclusive with Hard Rock Cafe. You know, no one's ever done this before. We hope you're gonna love this. Check it out, this is our good friend, Joel Bayer. Welcome to Hard Rock. This is a bit weird because of course, your family, pretty much. Yeah. And look, we're like, we're all sat here together, having a little chat. Relax, chill. Kind of, kind of strange. Can I just say, yeah, this is a massive honor to be invited by Matt and Dre to come and sit down and have a Stop. chat. Stop. You know, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really sure what I was doing, right? But <laughs> no, when, they, when they give you the call, you've just got to set the time and be there. So uh, I'm more than, I'm just happy, man. Do you know what I mean? Seeing the both of you guys yes. treating me well and they're putting a spread on afterwards as well. Listen. It's happening. This is this is it. This is what, what do, this is what they're doing for us, mate. But I've learned a lot mm. from you, bro. Because like the boys behind the camera, you know all of them. You know the boys. Every like, single one of them. You know they've they've filmed your stuff. We've argued. We've laughed. Yeah. We've Especially cried. this guy here behind yeah, this I mean, camera. We've put, <laughs> we put money into the wrong accounts. Yeah. We've done it all. We've it's done happened. it all, and that's true. Nai, he knows. Nai knows. You know Nye Nye knows. That. And and the great thing about Nai, he's uh -huh. filmed on some pretty cool projects. Proper stuff. For you, yeah, yeah. for Rio, and yeah. now, like for people that are seeing Joel Bayer of 2021, yeah, a lot of work with the man Rio with five Steve Housen. Yeah, tell me about this, dude, because like when you tell me about like on on a one to one level, and I was mm. saying to Dre like mm. something pretty cool is coming up with Joel, dude. New Premier League season, yeah, your face is all over the place of Rio. Got some pretty cool friends, like. It's, I mean, first and foremost, I'm gasping. To be, to be very much. honest with you, it was a project uh, that we had been working on for a minute. I mean, yeah. to, to <coughs> bringing it back, right? Yeah, please. Um, we all get to meet wonderful people in the industry. Um, but what I did is I just kept really good relationships a long time ago. So, for example, I would see him at shoots and I was just yeah. like, not badgering, but I was very keen and hungry. For you guys watching, you have to remain keen and hungry. Hey, Rio, man, I'm telling you, man, I got that juice, man. I'm yeah. telling you, it's 2018, but, you know, soon I'll be that guy, you know, you might want to get me involved now. Yeah. And, and credit to him, because he would always see me around, he would listen, he goes, all right, cool, yeah, yeah. And then, um, he, to be fair, he had put me in touch with uh, one of his agents for, like, many years. So yeah. what I would do, I would just, I would see him at events, it would be cool and that, but the relationship wasn't, like, really fully, fully there. Uh, he yeah. just knew I was hungry, you know what I mean? And, and you know, yes, we could talk about five, uh, massive shout out to everyone in the five team, but this is when I was doing cheeky sport, which is where right. I know you from. Yeah. When, when we used to do soccer AM and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. So um, yeah. So then after that, as the years went, we ended up going to Russia with uh, with EA Sports and Crazy. Rio, and I was just there the whole time, like, yo, listen, man, I'm that guy. <laughs> we gotta do something. Listen, Come on. Man, I'm that guy. Like, but cool. Not too yeah. in your face, and you know. Um, but yeah, as the years went, I just kept doing coffee meetings. You guys who don't like doing coffee meetings. You need to get out there and do your meetings because you don't know what's gonna happen. There could be nothing that happens for a year, two, three, maybe even yeah. four, but you have no yeah. idea. At least get a hot chocolate. At least, coffee. you know. And the truth is, we just made ourselves available for opportunities. Yeah. Um, I remember once um, Rio couldn't make uh, the FIFA launch, FIFA 19. Yeah. And I think by then he knew that, again, you're reliable, trustworthy. Getting so involved. he shouted uh, me to present. So then what did I do? I shouted you yeah. to film and edit. I said, sorry, right. I'm busy. So he said, sorry, he's busy. But then he calls over his, um, his colleague, yeah, no, uh, and, and, and he came through. And we did some awesome stuff. And you know, it was brilliant events. Like, who did we have that day? We had uh, Kaka, he was the main event. Come we on, had, come on, man. We had, yeah. everyone was there from Wrighty to Grealish to Any, Madison Liverpool, any, any to, Liverpool legends for Dre? Um, he's a big Yeah, Trent, Trent. I was, Trent, I was waiting I was for that. I was doing some stuff from Trent. And uh, who else was it? Trent, there was a couple guys. I can't remember. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember? I can't remember, but there was a couple. No, no. Uh, Philly and then. Um, yeah, yeah, Chunks, Philly. Chunks, Philly. I mean, it was yeah. one of those events where everyone was there. You know, we can name drop all day. Yeah. But that's what happened. Anyway, cut story short. Um, just kept the relationship going, and and I went through some really, really difficult times during yeah. lockdown, like a lot of people did. And uh, but the one, number one thing that I said in my mind was, listen, no matter what happens, you keep on working. 
You know, I remember putting in work and I said to people, hey, I want to go out and do public videos. And they were like, yeah. why do you want to do that? You're above doing public videos. I'm like, yeah, yeah. but you've got to feed your audience. I see it like a mixtape. You've yeah. got your album, which is your clean commercial stuff. So true. You know, are they so doing true. Sky Sports and yes, all sir. of that kind of stuff. Yeah. But then you've also got to touch the people. And that's where I think I'm different. I've got a great connection mm. with the supporters, my supporters. You know, I just connect well with people, but that's because I give them time. You know, yeah. so I went and I started just doing what do women look for in a relationship in Croydon? You know what I mean? Like specifically We need Croydon. to know. You know need what I mean? Like, tip still. I still got to do the Clapham Junction one. That's coming soon. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but it's just things like that that yeah. were catching people's attention and stuff. Um, still freelancing for companies, uh, with the brands. But I always make sure that even if I do the shiny stuff, I'm always doing the, the fan stuff. So for example, if I'm doing fan stuff, but me and you were doing Gillette stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you're getting best of both worlds. And then I think that caught the attention again of Rio's team, um, New Era Company. And they were like, we want to do redo our YouTube channel. Do you want to mm. come in? And da, 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 da. I was like, sure, cool. Come in, you do a little bit of consultancy, whatever, and say, look, you need this guy, you need Housen, because he's this and that, and he's this guy. Great voice. And then you need that. And then and credit to them, they, they've been very, very responsive yeah. from the beginning. And initially, I wasn't even going to be involved as per se in the show. We, we were just trial and error, man. Literally trial and error. If you're one of those people that thinks, oh, you know what, I'm not gonna do it, because what if I look like this? You gotta be prepared to look a fool in this game. You have I to be prepared. From you, bro. Like, you, know, you have to be prepared. What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing in front of camera? I don't know, I'm lost. You don't know, but you have to try it, and yeah. you have. And since then, you've done what? You've done, um, You've done yeah, yeah, yeah. F1, AJ, UFC, you know what I mean? WWE. UFC. <laughs> you know, there's loads that you guys have done since. Mm -hmm. In that Liverpool stuff here, though, but it's all, it's all good, bro. It's coming. Uh, it's, <laughs> no, it's coming. It's, coming right? it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> but <laughs> yes. And then, yeah, through that, we just started doing a series and yeah. lockdown. Like, I don't even really know how it happened. I was just there, but. But the interviews were huge. You were getting huge guests yes, on those episodes. Yes. Legends I, of the game. But I knew one thing. I thought to myself, this is all well and good. You know, those guys, really successful people, whether it be legends or whatever legend it is, that are really good mm. business-wise, it's not a play-play thing. Yeah. We're not here to just be in front of camera and go, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah here we are. I'm not interested in that, yeah. as weird as it sounds. So Makes I sense. do still keep it very professional, but I knew that if we could push this product, mm. right, to where it needs to be by the time the Euros drops, yeah. then maybe, just maybe, we can convince Rio to carry on doing yeah, it. Yeah, and that's just yeah. me being real. Like, I just thought, we just gotta push it, just gotta <laughs> push it. And then we got to the Euros, I thought, okay, cool, done this now. Now, you guys might not see, you see us in front of the camera, but behind the scenes, there's a lot of work that needs Non-stop. to be done. You're always, I mean, we, I mean even when we go into creative discussions about even like the most simple of shoots, yeah. you're thorough with it. Like, you yeah. really care about how you're making your content how you put that across, and yeah. you care about how to engage your audience as well. How many times have I called you or your brother, I'm like, listen man, I've got this idea, man. You know, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we try. we're gonna try it. And that's what we do, we just push, 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 push. And then yeah, got to the Euros, we were able to close some really good sponsors, great supporters we had. We had Hublot, we had um, William Hill, we had um, Sokin, who are our now long-term Vibe with five partners, yeah. Uh, and yeah, like really, really good stuff. So the Euros went really well. We smashed out of the park, great numbers. Um, and then this year, we, you know, believe it or not, it's just now that I've actually got like a long-term official thing there. Yeah. So uh, it's people. What people see behind the cameras, they might think, "Oh, mate, you've got this, man." They almost had a messy contract review. They don't know the grind. <laughs> they don't know the grind. They signed it. Now. Do you know what I mean? Like so, and, and I'm just very appreciative to the guys over there and to the people that I worked with, um, the house and the people behind the scenes because everyone's grafted and worked yeah. really, really hard. Uh, and yeah, that's it. But the, the good thing is, I'm not just a person that relies on. Okay, you know, I've got this person you know, doing this show with this person. I don't think like yeah. that. I put all my effort into what I have to do because if you do it in general, everything will flourish. Yeah. You know, you have to be strategic, but you have to be, you can't, I'm not gonna rely on that brand. That's not good to them, for them. Yeah. They wanna see me grow as well and carry on doing the Joel Bear thing the way I do. But you're versatile and I think, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, you guys met through different sport events. NFL. Right? Yes, we well. met through NFL, NFL. and um, you know, Joel left an impression on me straight away because as we were just discussing off air, is obviously these are the, these are the days where prior to, you know, prior to us launching this channel, sure. I was very much behind the scenes. So everywhere that Joel was, I was you know, in the area so we can actually say hi. Mm. But 
it's a transition the random accident for me. Ones there, then. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm here. Right. Andrew Dixon, nice I'm to meet you. Hey, I was just down the road. We're here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but what I want to ask you is that um, this is something that we're, we're transitioning to as well. Mm-hmm. Working with the brands and, and obviously being out and working with all these different you know, celebrities, yeah. putting yourself out there. Does that, do you feel like somewhat exposed? You know, when it comes to like comments and you know people's reaction to things, I, I know that you interact and you try to make everything a, a, a lesson. So what, what's your view on? You, you are, yeah. you are, especially back in the day. But the, the truth is, I've been doing this for years, man. Mm. Like, you know, well, I think it was it 2015, let, 2016. Don't let the young face fool you. Come on, been around the <laughs> blizzard. Good you know moisturizer. I mean? I've been around the blizzard. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's, I think I've learned through life experiences. To not take all of this too seriously, yeah. you know. I'm very open. If you see them on my Instagram, like I'm, you know, if I'm if I'm not with my daughter, or I'm not at church, or I'm not with my friends, or I'm not whatever. I'm very open in that way. So I know who I am. Yeah. You know, yeah. I I know how to take constructive feedback. You know what this industry is like. Yo, bro, you're doing such a great job, man. And then round the back, they're like, he's a prick. You know what I mean? Like, it's you, you <laughs> see it all the time. <laughs> yo, bro, yeah. man, like, yo, but really and truly, they're wishing yeah. for your death. And I, I'm really like just cool and smart with it. I try to be as polite as possible, and you know, and so I know that if, for example, you hear bad news, it will be like, no, that's that's not really Joel. Like he's usually, you know, what I mean, he tries his best. And but whatever. it's honest, right? Yeah. And I think like you know very well that you have concentrated so hard on your craft, but you mm. also, you know, you work hard for others as well yeah man. not only cheeky spot which we'll come on to yeah. but also like for me personally like you didn't have to but you put your you put my name in the mouths of fatv mm-hmm. and i would have never have dreamt in a million years i would get to spend international windows filming filming our lionesses england first team saying hello to the gaffer like before formal training session and that was because of you and i think like your your energy and you love this industry yeah. and i think you you make an effort to want to surround yourself with good people too, right? Yeah, I mean, you got to remember though, is when you meet good people and it's something genuine, I'm not silly, I know when yeah. people are trying to lean on you, you know, but at the same time, we've, we've got a good, I never, you know, see, I, I just I just feel like people, it can be tough in it because you have to protect what you do, but you also have a, a, a job to, you know what I mean, like do, do what it is that you came on this earth to do. You know, it's not just a nine to five or a whatever it is that we do, because it's definitely not a nine to five, but um, because we're just working <laughs> constantly. But, uh, but yeah, you still have a, a responsibility to do what it is that you do. And I, I try my best to uphold those responsibilities. And I think one of the simple things that me and Matt had said, I think even beforehand, we said, listen, man, if you help me in this area, then I can help you in this area. Yeah. And then it was just trust. And yeah. we've never yeah. let go of the trust that we formed maybe like three, four years ago. It was like a, a, a yeah. verbal agreement that we had. You and never trust each other. Like, yeah, literally. Yeah. Was like, you know what I mean? Like, and and we, we've never violated each other. We've never taken the mick. We've always tried to come through. That's what I mean when I say I didn't know what it was about. Yeah. It's because I don't really need to know what it's about when Matt calls me. All I know is that I need to be there if I can. Yeah. You know, he asked me for a time. I said, I can't do that because I'm doing work. Can you do this? Yeah. And Nine o'clock. And he's like, 11.30, yeah, like, is that cool? It lives at 11.30 today. No one, so. no one, no but, one makes it on their own. But, yeah. But yeah, exactly. So if, even though you're saying nice sure. words, how many times have, have I called your brother and said, listen, yeah. this is what I need? You know, yeah, and, sure. and sometimes I'll say in return, we do this or sometimes it's just can you help me out you know collaboration is so so freaking important it's like and again like trust like you trust when i can't when i say like i'm sorry joel i'm on another shoot or whatever can you trust like nye joss melvin and it happens and like and and for us as well dre like we've learned through this process that like collaboration and being just open with each other is such an important part of just being i don't know creatively but, but yeah. everyone we work with is so talented. So yeah. when you look at Joss behind the camera, he, I've worked <coughs> with him many times, proper sick. We've done Sky Sports, we've done, we've done. Dude, you've done, what have we, we, what we done, Joss? Shout out. Listerine. Listerine ads we've done. We've done a lot. The cricket, so, I mean, the stuff with Sky Sports and cricket. Yeah, like, And like, it's I mean? not normally your sport. And like, we've learned, like, we yeah, jump yeah, into sports, yeah, we don't yeah, normally do. Yeah, yeah. But like, everyone's going into different sports, learning together and, and learning different things. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's versatility is everything, right? Well, I, I think as well, what I've, what I've definitely learned from you is, is obviously, as in, not to be stuck in a box, but um, 
is when brands to, to actually give your input in with your brand text here, personalize yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. So you know, therefore you're not just like holding up a picture yeah, or yeah. holding up a product, you know, those types of things. Yeah. What I, I'm just going to something else at the moment because you know, obviously we're gonna talk about the Euros. Now Myself and Matt were was discussing, obviously, during the actual Euros, me being extremely nervous for you. And, you know, um, you know, Joel doesn't know what I'm going to say here. I was very nervous for you when you was covering the, the, the Euros, as you was discussing, like, you obviously getting in with the crowd and things like that. I didn't go. Because, well, no, not that, not that you didn't go to the, the stadium, but you were with the crowds and things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that made me nervous. And I'm, because I knew what was going to happen, I'll after and so, so therefore, for me, what I wanted to know is like, like, how did you become so fearless, especially when it comes to those situations where you're, you know, supporting England, you know, and then and then it turns on you straight away. Like, how do you get your, how have you manage that situation, you know, and how what, what, what was your like plans moving forward, like covering it? Was you going to cover it the same as be the same as you as before? Yeah, because you see, one thing I know about humans is I've always known how humans are like it's not like all of a sudden i just figured out humans like oh my gosh like you know what i mean like i, I know what people are like yeah you know you have to know what and who you support a lot of those players there are great people mm -hmm. some of them i've been able to meet some of them i've been able to speak to some of them you know whether it be on a professional whatever it is mm -hmm. so i'm not going to stop supporting those people yeah. and the, all the good people that are involved the good people that work at F F A T V, the good people that work at F A, the good, the, they're still gonna be getting my the same enthusiasm. Mm. We're here tackling an issue that's bigger than the white kit yeah, yeah. that the players wear. It's a mindset of yeah. the country. Do you see where I'm coming from? Totally. So, you know what I mean? What am I gonna start doing? Stop going down such and such that might be owned by a bunch of racist people, whatever, like, yeah. no. Do you know what I mean? So we can get real technical about this, but yeah. sometimes I feel like there's no need. You have to think on a bigger picture. Okay. I'm still what? I'm still here. What? Three yeah. guys. You guys know uh -huh. all the guys. I'm Correct. still there, working, doing what we've got to do. We were actually supposed to be working at the Euros. Remember yeah, at one point, it, yeah, it wasn't something that was signed off, but we're still working on it. We were manifesting and, uh, it. Yeah, you know, exactly. we were, we so, were planning. But I'm not going to turn around and be like, oh no. But this obviously, <laughs> we're still going to fight to make the situation better. Yeah. You know, so that's why when I'm around, I don't care what colour you are, where you're from, my white friends, my Asian friends, my black friends, if we're celebrating, you know what I mean? If we're celebrating man like Raheem scoring a goal, yeah. or we're celebrating Bosch, Harry Maguire clearing it off the line, yes, or sir. we're celebrating Saka doing what we're doing, we're still going to do that. And we're just going to stand against what we don't believe in, as simple as. And how great has it been for you, like, not only are you respected in the content game, but now in a broadcast sense as well. I see you turning up on all the, all the great channels. I see you on Newsnight and ITV. For yourself to like kick it back five, ten years to see what you're doing now, that's got to be kind of like a pinch me kind of like. Yeah. This is we're riding a crazy wave here. Listen, man. Um, sorry to get on religious about you, but my God is good, man. Do you know what I mean? I've been, I've been like anyone else. Like you're ready to quit. I'm literally yeah. after a game. I'm like, you know, I'm done with this. Mm. I'm done. Personal issues looking at the bank account and it's just not agreeing with you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, oof. This is real life. This is but tough. It's... Like, I might, why am I even travelling to this game? Because mm. it's probably not going to get any views. Mm. Like, what am I doing? Like, literally, you feel like you're chasing your own tail. You have no idea what you're doing. You know, you, you personal issues with companies, friends, whatever it might be. I've been through a lot. Yeah. yeah. But for some reason, I've just been given the grace to carry on going. And that's why I know that I have a responsibility. I'm not just going to go and it be all me, me, me. Mm -hmm. I will do it in the way that I think is appropriate. So that if that means I'm giving back to a young journalist that's in yeah. school, and yeah. you know, I'm still going to protect what's mine, but yeah. I mean, there's young journalists in school, there's, you know, there's people who, there's, whether it be charities, whether it be whatever I can do that might not be in front of camera. Yeah. Some, some of it might, some of it won't. But we just try to, to, to use our platforms to give back where we can. Yeah. You know, and speak positive where you can. Yeah. I mean you you've you know, you like me have got children mm. and uh, or child. Yeah. My beautiful niece who's always with my child. That's they're, true. they're both That's my true. children. Yeah. 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 Um you know, uh, how do you find the balancing act of you know, parenting plus 
obviously doing what you do. It's not easy, but one thing I've realised is to stop stressing when there's new seasons. Because when my daughter was born, I was like, oh, how am I going to do it? How am I going to do it? And somehow it worked out. You know, when, you know, things went this way or that way, it somehow worked out. So then you kind of realise that I'm actually losing a lot of energy here and, mm. and killing myself every time I worry because eventually it all kind of works. Mm. You know, but that's why it's also important to be the best person you can be um, when the kids are not around, yeah. i.e. at work. So that when you do need leeway or you're saying, look, I need these days because of my child. Sure. People yeah. know your reputation and they know what you're like as a person and they'll be more than happy to, you know what I mean, accommodate most mm. times, you know what I mean? Mm. Sometimes you just got to be like, look, daddy's got to work today, man. I'm sorry. Today's the day. I'm sorry. Daddy's got to bring up the bacon. You know, it yeah. happens. Fast. But overall, I, that everybody knows who knows me anyway. I take that very, very seriously. Yeah. Man. Like, and we've got a great relationship. I witnessed it and like we've done content with your family. Has you been yeah, we done oh, like, yeah, like, the yeah, Nike yeah, stuff yeah, the we Nike did stuff. together. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, and, and I think that is there. like what I love, like with Dre, like you as well. We get to know each other's families, yeah, our yeah. significant others, whatever it may be, our, like everything, our circles. And I think like in this industry, that is so important that we, you know, some people want to keep a professional distance, and that's cool. Like we, you know, we're each to our own. But I think like what makes us thrive, this is a way we weave, and you know, we kind of interact like that. And something like I've seen for you from the day one we've met to what's going on now and what we've done post-pandemic, pre-pandemic, like Cheeky Sport has been such an important part of your life. Mm. Um, through all the many incarnations, the faces that have come and gone, yeah. the old wave, the new wave. Mm. Tell me about this, man, because like, wh what do you take from it? Like, like Cheeky Sport is always going to be sort of Joel Bayer yeah, fit. Man, it's, it's a blessing. That journey has been so <laughs> huge as far as what's made you yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. I think where it, is, where it was when I first started and where it is now is completely different. Where it, when we first started it, it was it was almost like, it was a YouTube channel, yeah. mm, wacky going to great games. It's funny because now I'm going to games again with five, it feels like I've gone full, full circle. Full circle, man. You know, but it's, it's, it's a better quality, but it's still, I don't take away because that's the foundation. But like I said to you the other day, it, yeah. it's like, I felt like when I watched you do your first um, match vlog of the season, yeah, yeah, yeah. we at Old Trafford versus yeah, Leeds. Yeah. I said to you, I said, like, it, it's so you, like, like, not that your other content isn't you, but you this come to me, life man. here with people. Like, I love this. people. I love being around people. People. Just people. I love you guys. We're so people, yeah, people. in general, so in general, it, it just feels great. And I feel like I'm probably one of the only fans, I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm probably the only fan that's allowed to be on Man United channels and go on a Chelsea channel and I don't know about Tottenham yet, still working on that. But, um, but Liverpool, all these clubs, because the reality is after a while, people realise that, hang on a minute, this guy's covering games and he's got good vibes. Yeah. That's the most important thing, <laughs> you know, and at the end of the day, you know, my best friends all support different teams, so. Easy. Has it made you less impartial, like, you know, because obviously you're dealing with Rio, you used to probably... You nah, know, I tell him every week, bro. Yeah. I tell him, I can't wait till we slap you, love. Facts! Every week, I can't wait. And I say it, and that's one of the reasons why people love it as well, because when you can be honest yeah. and be like, yeah, yeah, nah, you know what I mean? You're not making my top 10, top 10 of all time. You know, like, but it's, it, to be honest with you, I do it, <laughs> yeah, but I do it because I, it's, a, it's a childhood dream of mine, yeah. yeah, to be able to speak to my legends and tell them how I feel, yeah. even if I'm just winding them up. I love that. Half of the time I'm just winding them up because but, I, I feel, I think so highly of the people that I work but with. But friends and humans, is like, it's just a natural thing, I think, especially yeah. working in the sport industry, yeah. like, we've all learned. As, as we've met different talents, mm. you, you just start to really unravel that they're just humans. Yeah. And um, you connect, like the connection you have with Rio, and I remember I worked with Rio um, on a shoot at Facebook. And like it was early when you were like talking about Rio. You might as well have Rio here, mate. Yeah, exactly, Rio, so yeah. You might, as well, you might as well be sitting <laughs> and here I said to, me. And I said to Rio, I was like, yo, I said like, oh, I, Joel said that you're coming down. And he spoke highly of you. He's like, yeah, Joel, and like, and, and with like a glow on his face. And I just think like, like your, your consistency of like how you've done your content and just as a person has been like probably, well, it's without a doubt, it's why you're yeah. where you are at, now, at this current day. I think being a, a firm person, but a good person is important. Yeah. Being genuine, not like just doing it for the yeah. sake of doing it. But if you can find a place within yourself and you're genuine, uh, people will somehow gravitate to that. And when you're not genuine, you can be smiling, you can be whatever, but people can, someone can say to me, great job. And another person says to me, great job. Mm -hmm. And I know 
that you know one is feeling. just chatting rubbish yeah. or you're just whatever and then I know you know so it's just about being as good of a person as you can be so then so then when you do make mistakes because we all do <laughs> or when someone does you can dust yourself off and know that you know what okay I can improve in this area True. you know and, and and I've improved from the cheeky sport days how I do things in front of the camera but most importantly behind the camera as well because yeah. I think that's what one of my strong points I'm, I really take pride in being business business savvy in this yeah. industry first time I can say the briefs like, are good and no we know where we've got to be like yeah. it's just there's no mess but that's important to be yeah, very important, clear and consistent very important and it's added value like you know you're not just going to go to people that are real and be like hey I'm great in front of camera like what else can you yeah what yeah. can you show because there's great presenters out there as well there's people that are even better than you so it's like of course you want to be the best but whilst you're in the whilst you're on the way to that to that spot you need to show other yeah. skill sets yeah. that will allow you to shine you know and that's very important it's true words I think like as, as we kind of draw this um, to a near close job like I know you got like, creatively like Dre, I think you're both very like-minded. Like, sky is very much the limit, um, but you're going to go beyond that. Like, we're going to go wow, universal on this. Thank you, man. But like, very I well. know what is in your pipeline all the time. Like, you you are very transparent with me, yeah, and yeah. like when you have <laughs> met Dre, like we all know what each other are up to. Yeah. What is like the kind of the Joel Bayer? Maybe there's a short-term goal or long-term goal that you, as a presenter, a broadcaster, as just like even as a human, like. What are your creative goals? We're looking maybe the next two, three years, even five years time. What, what would satisfy you as like as a ticked box? Um, there's there's a few things to be fair that I, I would I don't mind sharing. There's obviously sure. some stuff that you, you don't share everything. Can Absolutely. Like. But I think there's no secret that I really want to grow five to be um, the biggest channel out there, and that's. It's not like to say because you've got fantastic channels, yeah. you've got AFTV, you've got you know um, all these other great channels, not just fan channels, but great football channels. But I do believe that we can be the home of football, music, culture, yeah. different sport, uh, providing a platform for footballers to have a safe environment to speak. You know the merge between non official presenters and official presenters. I think there's room for everyone. You know, and um, I'm very happy because. I'm being positioned into really being able to do that at five, really empowered, that's all I can say. Uh, but, um, so I'm, I'm very happy with, with that role at the moment. And also just in general, just to push it, because I just, I want anyone that I work with, whether it be fire, whether it be any of my other clients, every time they come and they see me, I need to be doing more. Yeah. You can't come back to me six months time and we're having the same conversation. It's not happening. You know, we have to do more, do better. And that's just how I am. Like, I looked at some of the videos we did on the weekend and we had a briefing on Monday. We're like, okay, cool. So I had, we've gone mini viral. How can we make it better? It was trending. The, vid, uh, the first season video okay. was trending on YouTube. How are we going to make it better? Yeah, yeah, obviously, well done, everyone. I respect everyone. We, we've but that demand for job. more is so important in this industry. That's where the growth really how comes you, from. How can you be working with people that have won six Premier League titles and all this and they do this? You've got to be able to to adapt their mindset yeah. and apply it into today's techno um, today's world where you do, okay, they speak differently to each other in the changing rooms, but you apply it to the people you're working with. True, true. How do you, when I'm working with you, how do I convince you to wake up at 5 a.m.? People have to trust you. People, yeah, yeah. You have to have something, you know, to say, okay, look, we're gonna do this. And I think when people see and they believe in what you're doing, then you can, you can get more from them. Just before we close, I, you know, I just want to say that you know, I've seen your growth from, from a different point of view where we haven't worked together, but obviously we see each other mm -hmm. now and again. And I've seen your growth go from, you know, obviously when I, when I met you, first of all, you already were someone, everyone is someone, but like, you know, you were already like, you know, the talk, you know, talk of a lot of PRs, you know, but I think from where you've actually gone, where you've actually almost like built your own, you know, uh, force. Um, I find you very inspiring. I find your energy inspiring. I find you very relatable. I love the fact that you showcase, you know, your parenting side as well. There's a lot of people who, you know, are, people lying that yeah, they've got children when they got well, children. Well, there's a lot of people who don't, don't look guys, after their kids the way you, that you he guys, does. You guys lying about your kids. You need to stop. You know. And um, I, feel, I feel that he. You know, Joel, I don't talk about it like you're not here, but Joel is to me a person that 
what I love is an example for especially young black fathers who want to achieve more and, I, and salute to you for, for everything you've Thank done you. because salute to you guys that's, as well. that's um, the you. most important thing, wow. the fact that you've gone blown up and then you've managed to still It's funny how people say things like, you've blown up man, but then I'll go back to my house and I'm like, I've got work to do. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so, and I think that's very, very funny and I never ever let social media gas me up. It's just not going to happen. I've, and I'm thankful to be around enough people and have keep it grounded. To, yeah, to have enough and real, be honest. to have enough friends that will just cuss me, or I've got friends that are real super, like what I call real <laughs> superstars, like mm. superstars. And then it makes you think, yeah, mate, I'm, I'm <laughs> where are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not there. But thank you, <laughs> but I'm not there, and that's why I'm never gonna get to. I just don't change in that. Don't get lost in the sauce. Nah, man, yeah. that's all dead. Hey, you know we, I mean? the, the ride never fails to surprise us. And like, it's crazy. Like, I feel like I've known you probably since 2015, 2016. Yeah, yeah. It feels like it's been longer. Sometimes it feels shorter. Like the ride keeps on, you know, mm. keeps I've on going. I've known your brother shorter, yeah, Melvin. But I feel like I've known him like so long. I yeah. mean, we spend a lot of time arguing and doing a lot. Like, it's big. It's like. We, we've got our own separate yeah. friendships, which yeah. I think is really cool. I think that's like family, isn't it? It's like you always yeah. have like different dynamics, different siblings, yeah, 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 cousins yeah, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, this is what makes it so fun because yeah, like yeah. we get excited about each other as people, as yeah. professionals. I'm, I'm angry with him at the moment. Well, we're going to have to dispute that over some dinner over yeah, yeah, here yeah, at the Hard Rock. Proper, I know, this, like, he knows I'm angry with him at Well, we're going to we're gonna have to figure him out it's because he's, yeah. yeah, it's an exclusive. That's for the um, uncut, we'll get on a Patreon or something. <laughs> He's, 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 you know, he's in the hot water, but nevertheless, Joe, but like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say thank you and like, you know, thank you for joining us and see you next time, but it's a kind of like a see you later, we'll chat soon see and, you, later, you know, man. it's like, this is normal, it's just a couple of friends, Hard Rock Cafe, and yeah, I just appreciate you always finding time to, whether it's here, on the phone, yeah, yeah. To, to make the time, so thank you. What happened last week? Because I saw you cancelled me, didn't you? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> oh, yeah, where did I go? I think that was like... Oh, what did I tell you? Joel, we appreciate you cancelled me. I did cancel me. It's all coming up. What was it? I'm, gonna, I'm legit going to shut the candle. Was it last Monday? It was like, was it a sh I was on a shoot. <laughs> I, went up, not, I went up shoot. north. Like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to push this uh, guy down. The football team is uh, yeah. calling. and needed a full scale yeah, production crew. Yeah, cancelled me. He's, uh, like, he's, get, he's, go, he's, he's uh, going up levels now. And so, you were uh, organising this because it was for here. We, what we were going to do was like, because you are episode one, dude. So <laughs> I, had, I wanted to start this series of like, yeah. someone like that's dear to like, our, our boys behind the camera, like to me personally. And Andre realises like how as a friend, yeah. as not even, like, I'm not even going to say business partner, like, just straight up as a friend, like you're, you're important to me. And it's like, Joel was going to be the first episode. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to do the episodes like, oh, let's do it bi-weekly or weekly. And, I was like, actually, no, that's really hard to organise because the shoot started coming through. I said, sorry, Joe, I'm going to cancel it. You didn't call me. No. Was <laughs> it was a text. It was a text. Shame. Let's be real. See me, I'm, I'm no filter, you know. Yeah. I'll, I'll you tell you as it is. We've got to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I so we've got two the, brothers in hot water. The truth water, is, I don't even know what happened. I just remember thinking, yeah, fine, could just reschedule me. What? I can't even remember. <coughs> but yeah, it's what really happened. It makes a 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock yeah. shift look so much worse. But dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Hard Rock, for having thank us thank down. You, man. Um, hell of a time. We're gonna eat some awesome food. And yeah, stay tuned. We've got more episodes coming up. Mm, See you guys I'm later. Hungry. Let's I'm eat. Hungry. Eat. Let's eat. <laughs>